Good morning vlog. We are in Austin, Texas. Um, we got here last night, but it was really late and so we were super tired. And then they put us in a handicap accessible room, which is not bad. It was just not what we were expecting. And so we actually did contact the hotel and say like, we don't want to take this room if somebody else needs it. But they promised us that they had other rooms if somebody needed the accessibility features. So um we are going to go to voodoo donuts today we're very excited um uh, we were gonna get up in time for breakfast at the hotel but we overslept sort of intentionally we just slept as long as we needed to um but that's fine so we're gonna get donuts and then we're going to go to the museum of weird or museum of the weird or something like that um and then we are going to what are we doing next? Oh, we're getting dinner. <laughs> we're getting dinner, Tex-Mex, yeah. And then we're going to the show. And we are, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> this is like, we went to show you and then completely covered your face. Um, and I've got my Ella Stoon shirt on. We are seeing Ella Stoons and Rise Against. And I think the opener is Cloud Nothings. It's a different opener than the time that I saw them last. Um, cause Spiritual Cramp was on their tour before, but they have a new opener. So I've got my, um, my hair is being weird, but I've got my Ella Stoons bandana showing support. So we are ready for the day and we will take you around Austin with us. we are here for another day in Austin Texas so our first stop is the Botanical Garden um, Park it's Zilker Park um, I'll link everything down below for the places that we go uh, but we have a lot of fun things planned for today it's our shopping day so we're gonna go to Waterloo Records and we're going to go to book people which I've been wanting to go to book people for like a few years now actually uh, I've heard about it online. It sounds fun. Um, but yeah, probably gonna go back to Voodoo Donuts as well since we really enjoyed that. But uh, just a fun day of adventure and it's bright and sunny. We're wearing shorts today because it's like 80 degrees in November, which is slightly concerning, but it is Texas. So um, yeah, but anyway, last night was really, really fun. Our whole day yesterday was great. But uh, the concert last night was awesome. There were a couple weird crowd issues, uh, like a fight broke out behind us at one point, um, but we were okay. The security took care of it real fast. Um, they were good at catching the crowd surface. They were good at handing water out to us at the barricade, so that was awesome. And then we also got to talk to Anthony after the show, so I'll pop that picture up here. But Alex got to meet Anthony. 
And I shook his hand like a businesswoman. She nice sure to meet you. did. She sure did. Um, but that's fine. <laughs> he was very, very nice to us. And we got to chat with him for a hot second. Give him a hug. So, yeah. But uh, we're just going to go and do some exploring today. And we will take you with us. So, let's go. Prehistoric. We made it to the botanical garden and we have decided we're going to do the children's activity because it's fun and we don't know where to go because there's like a million different uh, ways for us to go but we're just gonna figure it out. It's gonna be great. We're gonna find dinosaurs. Is the we're gonna now. find the dinosaurs. <laughs> the herb garden. <laughs> We're like on a little, on a little path. We're trying to get to the bridge. <laughs> a dinosaur! A dinosaur! Look, you can see, you can see his footprints. <laughs> Butterflies. Butterflies. They're so pretty. It's a lizard. Look at him. I love him. He's literally, hold on. You have to film him. He's literally doing this pose. The one to both He's literally doing this. Am I wrong? You are not wrong. Look at him. Baby. Look at all of the butterflies. Look at them. Look so pretty. What do you think, Alex? What? Aww. So what is our consensus on the Austin Botanical Gardens? Very pretty. Yeah. Um, a lot of angry birds. A lot of angry birds. I would give it like... 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Just needs more signs, but very needs pretty. Needs more signs, and there's also construction and a wedding, which is not their fault, but, but it was fun. <laughs> It kind of looks like Metropolis or something, or like, you know, where Superman lives. Yes. <laughs> Does he live in Metropolis? I thought he did. Okay. I gotta look it up now. <laughs> we are currently walking through a giant field. <laughs> just kidding, it's a park, it's not a field. But it is just a lot of, um, I'm sorry, I just smacked your hand with my hand. <laughs> um. <laughs> senseless violence in the field. In the field. The children <laughs> yearn for the core and the people yearn for the violence in the field. Oh my god. <laughs> Coffee. Hello vlog. We are back. Back. We are back. <laughs> we are back at the hotel room and we had a very nice day. We didn't do the million and one things that we had planned, but that is okay. We're just tired now. 
but uh, we went to the Botanical Gardens, as you saw, and did our little scavenger hunt. I highly recommend the kids' scavenger hunt option. <laughs> that made it a lot more fun. Um, it was fun walking around there. We definitely got our steps in. And then we walked from there to this um, like food truck place called The Picnic. I think that's what it was called. Um, but that was good. From there, we walked to... No, we took, no, we took, we took the, the Uber. Uber. So the walk to the food trucks was exciting. Um, we walked through like a park that was essentially just a giant field for a while, but there were lots of dogs at the park and we got to see the cityscape. And a lot of kayakers. Yeah, so then we went over this bridge and um, there are a bunch of people like kayaking and paddle boarding. Uh, so that was, that was cool. It was definitely a day for outdoor activities. So, um, we took an Uber from the food truck area to Waterloo Records, and I need to show you what I got. Okay, so I got Screen Day CD. I do not have this one yet. This is the 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours. I have Kerplunk, but I don't have this one. So, then I got My Chemical Romance. Danger Days. I don't have the CD yet. I have like all of their CDs. I don't have this one. <laughs> then for vinyl, I got Military Gun, Life Under the Gun. So I have another version of some of the songs off of this record. I have uh, Life Under the Sun, um, which is more like acoustic and, and all of that, but this is their actual full length album. Um, and this is a limited edition first pressing exclusive translucent cobalt vinyl, so that's pretty cool. The Military Gun is great, I love them. Got to see them, um, do a live question and answer session and a documentary in Los Angeles. I, I'm pretty sure I have a vlog where I talk about that, so if I do, then I'll link that above on one of the sides. Uh, but then, got this Misfits collection. Vinyl. I have a couple of Misfits uh, vinyl records, but I do not have this one. So it has a really great list of uh, songs here. Very excited to listen to that at home. So from there, we walked over to Book People. And it's a multi level book, book, book shop, bookstore, bookstop. <laughs> bookstore with coffee shop? Somewhere? A bookstore with a coffee shop. And I gotta say, the coffee is fantastic. So if you're thinking about going somewhere else for coffee, just get your coffee there. It's great. Um, I got a rose latte, an iced rose latte. It was lovely with oat milk. But anyway, the books that I got here, I got None of This Rocks by uh, Joe Truman. Truman? I always pronounce his name wrong. I know who he is, <laughs> but I'm bad at pronouncing his last name. Um, he's he's the uh, lead guitarist of Fall Out Boy, and he's great. So I'm very excited to read his book. And then also, I promised myself that I would not deny myself copies of Dracula despite already owning it. So... <laughs> I bought this gorgeous version of Dracula. Look at that. That's entirely my aesthetic, I think. So, looking forward to having that on my shelf. And then, they had a bunch of copies of Dracula. So, um, with them, they had a little Dracula map. Isn't that fun? That's so exciting to me. But, that's everything we did. Um... We're pretty much done with our Austin trip, as far as I know. We did not make it back to Voodoo Donuts. We were so full from lunch, and we didn't want to get all the way over there. It was it would have been a long ways, and that's a whole other Uber ride and everything. But, um, yeah, we'll probably just order in tonight, and then our plane leaves really early in the morning tomorrow, so you might see some of that part of the, uh, of the adventure. But... 
in general, this is the, uh, this is the end of the Austin trip. So, uh, we'll connect with you later if there's anything that we feel like is important to mention. Caution! The moving walkway is ending.